Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. We generally like to talk a lot of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a tile laying slash racing game. We're going to be talking about Karuba. And in this game, you will be placing tiles out onto your player board. You'll be moving your explorer around the board, trying to get points by visiting temples that will enable in the game. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like we don't like. Then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not Karuba is worth your time and bother today and in the future. So remember, if you are newer, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit the like button and all that YouTube bullshit. See you after this. Bollocks! So, Karuba, how do you play this game? So Karuba is essentially a tile laying game, right? Every player is going to get a player board and a set of four explorers. One player is going to pick one of their explorers up. They're going to place it on the beach and then they'll place a temple on a space next to a jungle. Then the next player is going to do the same thing. You'll keep doing this until all the explorers and all of the temples have been placed. So all the players will get a set of identical tiles and one player is going to be elected the big boss type massive valet geezer type thing. They'll place all their tiles face down shuffle them up and then they'll reveal one of the tiles each of the tiles has got a number and all the other players will search for that number once everyone's done that then you will have a choice to make everyone will be acting at the same time you'll either be able to place the tile orthogonally against an existing tile or you will be able to discard the tile and move one of your explorers a number of spaces equal to the amount of pathways that are on the tile so if there's three exits on the tile then you'll be able to move your explorer three spaces if you come across a goal or a gem then you place it on the tile and if your explorer ever stops on that tile not pass over it right you have to stop on it if you stop on it you'll be able to pick that up and stick it on one of the explorers on the side of your player board if any of your explorers ever get to one of the temples then you will look at the scoring tiles you'll take the highest one and you'll put it next to you these will give you points at the end of the game and you keep doing this until either all of the tiles have been revealed or one player has all of their four explorers visiting four temples and then the player with the most points will be the winner of Karuba. So what do we like? Back Karuba. So the first thing that we like about this game is that the rules can be explained in about two minutes. Well, actually, maybe a little bit longer than that because I just explained them to you. Was that two minutes? Maybe it was a little bit longer than two minutes. I don't know. This makes this game easy to teach for people that don't usually play board games, i.e. kids or sweaty old grandparents that smell a piss. You don't have to fuck about explaining the rules. It's so intuitive. I haven't got my pet wasp to play this, yeah? So yeah, it's a simple game. Easy peasy, right? So the second thing that we really like about Karuba is that not only is it an easy game to teach, it's an easy game to play. You're only going to have a choice of two different actions. Are you going to place a tile down? You're going to have to do this, right? If you want to get to the temple, but you're going to have to move your explorer as well. So you've got this nice duality of options available to you. If there's any more options available, the game will get bogged down in like, uh, I don't know what I want to do. But where everybody is acting on their own accord, right? You don't have to place the tiles in the same way as somebody else. You're each going to be plotting your pathway through the jungle on an individual basis, right? And that's great. So you'll be looking at other people, what they'll be doing, be thinking, wait on a minute, they're getting closer to the temple that I want to get to, right? So I'm going to have to discard a tile, move my explorer. But then, mate, I've blocked myself in. And I can't get to that temple anymore, right? I like the very, very simple choice, but it still makes your brain bleed. So the third thing. And the final thing that we really like about Karuba is that it is a race game as well as a tile laying game. This creates a lot of tension. It's not like, say, Carcassonne, where you'll be placing a tile out on the table, hoping that it's going to fit with your plans, right? You're responsible for your own shit. If you fuck it up, then it's on you. And you're going to be sort of quietly shitting yourself just a little bit each time a tile gets revealed, cursing your luck when you think maybe I shouldn't have moved my explorer, I should have used that tile to do something else, yeah? So tension in such a simple game is great. But don't we like that Karuba? So the first thing that we don't like about Karuba is there is a distinct lack of player interaction in this game. Basically what it boils down to is you're going to be looking across, trying to see what your opponents are doing and maybe making small judgments on that. There's no blocking. There's no going where somebody else wants to be, no taking what other people want. There's no take that in this game. There's literally no player interaction and maybe we could have done with some of that. I'm not saying I want to blow somebody away with a shotgun, but it would have been nice just to have been able to maybe cooperate with other players 
players to stop players, right? Or maybe to do something to give other players something to chew on. So the second thing that we don't like about this game is that it is over far too quickly. Just as you are starting to get your explorers into position so you can pull the trigger with a four move tile, somebody trots up to the purple temple and declares that they have reached the top of the big purple column and they've claimed the prize, right? And the game's over. So I could have done with just being that little bit bigger, maybe like one extra row on the player board. I don't know, or just something to make the game longer because the game is pretty good and I just wanted to keep on playing it. You know? So the final thing that we don't like about this game is that, well, this couples up with the lack of player interaction, right? Is that sometimes players may delay placing their tile or discarding it to see what all the other players do. And then they're going to copy one of the player's placements or whatever. And this not only slows the game down because people are going to be hanging on waiting to see what other people are doing, but it can also cause a little bit of stalemate when people are taking identical actions. They get to the temple in the same manner. And the rules state that if two players get to the temple at the same time they still get the same amount of victory points but they make it up through gold right this can cause a bit of frustration a little bit of stalemate and it just means that if people do this the game loses its sense of tension and it becomes less fun right so if anyone starts doing that then just eject them from the room or try and push them up your stench pipe you know what i mean so is karuba worth your time and bother today and in the future so we're going to say yes, Karuba is an excellent tile placement game that also has elements of racing games, yeah? Reminds me of a cross between Carcassonne, El Dorado and also Bingo, yeah? It's a bit too short for my liking and it has practically no player interactions. So really it's just a distraction from more complex titles that you may have in your collection. At its core, Karuba is fun, but only in the short term, right? So there you go, that is Karuba. Remember, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing to this channel with the like button or all that YouTube bullshit. We'll see you next time. Thank you.